Good morning, Twin Cities. Up and Adam. I'm Jack Tomczak. That's Andrew Lee. I really like your profile picture on Twitter. Zip, I really like zip, your zip your face hole. Twitter avatar. Do I get to change? We didn't talk about it. Can I send you different ones? Like, make, do we change it every day? I would have to go back and listen to the podcast of the bet when it was made when I was uh, literally sleep. just waking up to right. find out the details. But I believe <laughs> yes, you get control. Yeah, I control your Twitter avatar until the Vikings lose. Right. Yes. So. All right. So if they make it to the Super Bowl, yeah. are you in control of it until then? We've got like five, was... six weeks. Well, if they, I was under if the impression they, it was just a week. No, 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 they, no. If they win the Super Bowl, <laughs> then, that's a whole that's, you know what? That's, that's, that's till preseason. That's a good point. Mm -hmm. Wow, I the didn't even think of that. I'm suddenly invested in the NFL again. <laughs> <laughs> we'll call it, we'll, we'll, we'll say it ends at the Super Bowl. Okay. And that's Lump. <laughs> that's very nice. I know. I'm, I'm, I'm generous. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> On the Good show morning, today. everybody. Good morning, everybody. We're going to be talking about the uh, standoff in New Orleans. <laughs> but did you just have a stroke? <laughs> you don't pronounce Oregon, Oregon. The, the less syllables. <laughs> the Oregon standoff. My nickname in college. Also, we'll talk with Paul Allen. Finally, he's going to show his face around here after the Vikings' uh, uh, victory. <laughs> that embarrassing Sunday. win. Uh, Andrew Langer coming in at 7 to talk about the Oregon standoff. Calling uh, in. Paul, calling in. Oregon Paul Oregon. Allen Oregon. Calling in, coming in to talk football. I like turtles. And then 8 o'clock, it's, 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 it's grab, grab bag. No. Things. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll talk making a murder. More, no. Maybe some more news bag. I've got no. new news bag. New, new year, new laws. We've got no, uh, goat God, sounds. Please, no. We've got no. gun news. And there's gun news. There's gun news. So, so yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, so what you're saying is we're going to have a show about guns. It's called a gun show. Would you like two tickets? Yeah. Fun video, Ant. I know. I know. I'd flab you under our eyes. <laughs> I can't see him. Shut up, flabby. Take your shirt off. <laughs> okay. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> I'd like to remind folks we have the video from yesterday's first segment of the show on the Twin Cities News Talk Facebook page. Go check that out. I was in the, uh, the, the video editing mine for hours yesterday putting that together. So mm -hmm. go there and tell me how great it is. Everybody. Everybody. Jack, this is great. No! <laughs> so, over the break, uh, Andrew, you, you and I have discussed, you have pointed out to me that when I don't have the radio outlet, I start more Twitter fights. Yeah, you, you, get a, you, you agitate on Twitter yeah. uh, a lot more when you don't have the Oak. opportunity to vent. Oak. Right. Oak. Mm -hmm. Pay attention to me, world. Pay attention to me, world. <laughs> uh, You're like a toddler. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, there was a uh, mayor of Superior, Wisconsin, I think, had, had a, stated on Facebook, I believe, mm -hmm. uh, that the president of these United States mm -hmm. is a Muslim. Who is, like, destroying the fabric of our democracy, I believe. I'm, I, I might be paraphrasing. Right. Well, I mean, but it was something just, to the effect of Democrat, the Muslim in the White House is destroying the fabric of our democracy. And there is a uh, there's a Wisconsin assemblyman over there. They they're not representatives like here. They're assemblymen. Mm -hmm. uh, went after this 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 mayor and, and saying that he was uh, be, being insulting or or being a bigot. And and I pointed out to the assemblyman, you're, you're the one who's saying that Muslims an insult. Aren't you the bigot then? Are you just trying to start a fight? Well, yeah. but think about it. Yes, he's, yeah, no, he's yeah, true. Oh, of course, of no, course, of course. Of course I'm yeah. trying to start a fight. Right. You're absolutely right. But if like, yeah, if you, I mean, pick, pick a term, pick, pick a group. It is. If you take that as an insult, you're the jerk. It is unusual that so many people react to. Um, well, but I, I think you can, you know, when you factor in the intent, you, he didn't say that. Uh, like, oh, by the way, he's a Muslim, and that's cool. Mm -hmm. But he's also destroying the fabric of our democracy. You know, it wasn't the you got to you got to factor in the context and the intent behind it. Mm. He is using Muslim as a derogatory, pejorative? a pejorative, a derogatory uh, statement. 
You, he, he's you, saying it in a derogatory way. I he, he didn't throw I it in there. Wrong. He didn't throw it Factually in there. Actually, inaccurate. An, <laughs> yeah. By the way, there's this Muslim guy I know. Awesome guy all around, but he's destroying the fabric of our democracy. <laughs> that, I've got friends. I've got friends who, who, who are destroying the fabric of our democracy, but they come in on Tuesdays. <laughs> right. I like them just fine. They're ruining this country. I like them. They're okay. They're okay. But people do get very upset. Uh huh. When you, uh, when you, when, when people, when uh, some people call Obama a Muslim, yes, yeah. it, it bothers them greatly. But if somebody called you a, a Muslim or just, a pick I'd, a group, you're like, no. no. I'd nope. say what? Huh? <laughs> Off the mark on yeah. that one. I really you're like incorrect. pork. Yeah. I love pork a pork lot. Pork is so good. Right? It's so right? good. Who, what kind of God wouldn't want you to eat pork? <laughs> Lump, did you know that mean ham? One. Uh, just a mean one. Ham, yeah. bacon, and pork chops all come from the same animal? I did, yeah. actually. And pepperoni. Pretty, pretty what? <laughs> what part of the pig do you get the pepperoni out of? The Back end. <laughs> the guy, the end all the, the spicy. Where's the spicy part? Yeah. Which part of you was cured? Um, it was nice to get back into the groove yesterday, back at work. Mm -hmm. You think that vacation is always good. Yes, it felt weird. But it's like but not. I mean, yeah, nobody's going to turn down a vacation. But right. uh, getting back in the uh, rut of reality. Mm -hmm. It's really hard. Awesome. It's hard. Yeah, you, didn't really, you didn't have a week and a half off to wander around the house not knowing what you're supposed to be doing with yourself. <laughs> well, it's, day one's easy. It's like day two and three where I'm still, because you're still at the point where you're not used to going to sleep so early, getting up so early. Mm -hmm. And then, like, day one's fine because it's like, whatever, I'll just wake up. And then day two is like, I'm kind of tired. <laughs> Who gets up this early? Yeah, like, Why? <laughs> I came in, this is a really dumb. I came in here this morning and I said to Andrew, like, Andrew, it's really early. Yeah. <laughs> Why do this? Yeah, by the end of by Thursday, it's going to start to really hit you, mm -hmm. you know. Because when you do, I was talking to when Dave Thompson filled in. Yeah, and he's like, oh, it's so I early. get it. He's Tired. better than me. <laughs> but, you know, when you do it once in a while, it's really difficult. It's awful. But when you do it all the time, and it becomes your routine, it becomes your schedule. Yeah, waking up it, at uh, four thirty, four o'clock, five o'clock in the morning sucks once in a while. But once that misery becomes your reality, right, and you you're just constantly miserable. Yeah, you you right. lower the bar for happiness. Mm -hmm. Up and down. Yeah, you lose all joy. It sounds so mm -hmm. sad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all sad joy leaves your your life. I, I I've got no stories from yesterday till today. It was it was. You're just in kind of a daze. It was. I cleaned the house and I loved it. It was it was awesome. And I tried to vacuum and my little my little one year old is yeah. trying to plug it into the wall. I've got he's a, gonna I, he's gonna get electrocuted one of these days. I you might be first. a little I might be a little useless tomorrow. Why? I got to go to the dentist today. <laughs> like you. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. For the first time in oh, a week. Yeah, yeah, you went last week. A week. week. <laughs> I think you're going too much. Really? You know, some people think it's a scam. <laughs> like the chiropractor. Yeah, you go once, and they're like, yeah, we need you back next yeah. week now. It's like, yeah. really? As long really as you had back, you, you have really? to come back. Yeah. So really, you went, you went last week? Mm -hmm. and, uh, okay. Was yep. it Was it because it had been a while before that? It had been a while before that. I do have, uh, as I suspected. A I've, mouth. I've got a mouth with mm -hmm. teeth in it. Yep. yep. And one of those, uh, one of those teeth. Mm -hmm. Needs attention. Okay. Needs some work done, as I suspected. So going today to do that, and then I'll go again in two weeks to finish the job. I'm to, I'm a, am I allowed to ask you what your problem is? I rotten, just need a crown. rotten mouth. Oh. <laughs> you have a rotten, rotten mouth. mouth. My mouth is rotting. Well, I mean, I, you're not supposed to, like, ask people what's wrong with them. As a hardcore meth user... <laughs> it's just it's paying you the really piper. It's, it was bound to happen. I think you really we should... could have like made better life choices. Andrew. Well, look, I I thought it would be a weight loss drug more than anything else. <laughs> but you're also really fighting the the other battle. I got the tooth meth. Yeah, I got the tooth kind meth. that just attacks your teeth. <laughs> Doesn't give me any of the Only other benefits. How about we do an on air bit or video? Andrew Dentist does meth. lump. 
Oh. And flyers. <laughs> All right, let's take a break. Come back. Andrew, what's at the top of the news bag? Uh, Obama has uh, issued the executive orders as we uh, were expecting. He mm-hmm. issued some executive orders, or he's going to issue some executive orders requiring expanding background checks. We've got that. We've got uh, the GOP questioning state Senate parking fees and a bucket of crap.com update. All right, I've got the uh, uh, email from the Gun Owner Civil Rights Alliance on uh, what the president has said about guns, so we'll compare that to the news story. All that and more. Bucket of crap.com.